On the other hand, I should show at least maybe once, uh, um, episode B and C. They're obviously different because a human is playing them. But uh, what you are having to do, what you're gonna do, is not different than what the task does. The major TNT exits are... Well, Lagunicus 1 is played in full in the in this run, which a task would also a TNT skip. And the any percent would also TNT skip. Well, Lagunicus 1 is not that interesting. All it takes is not being damaged here. Ah, almost fired. One damage is fine. Uh, top pipe is not the best, middle pipe is correct. Yeah, I could TNT that uh, signpost from the pipe to the secret exit, and that is the usual route. Nice. Okay, that was good. I've tried to rationalize away this invincibility and it was not successful. Uh, this way is better. Oh, I should have swiveled there. Uh, it's part of the route to swivel there even. To avoid the uh, damage from the spikes. And land on the stumps if possible to keep the shields. TNT for weapons, since we have the TNT anyway. Oh. Makamak 2 has these super fast platforms, I have no idea why they are so fast, and if you hit them, if you get them, uh, more power to you because they boost you forward and allow you to do cool jumps, but if you miss them, you're in for a lot of losses. Just check Rabbit 2, it's your game in pots. Because it just doesn't register some jumps in certain spots. Yeah, I think that's what Binary told me, especially for this pass run. I don't know for the jazz run. Ah, okay, it would have been very cool if this worked. There we go. Uh, I don't out of TNT, and I want to keep the shield for the boss. That's utmost priority. I'll eat the couple seconds in order to keep the shield here. It makes the boss so much safer. Just one never eats your inputs, except at the start of the map it does. 
Okay, we made it out of episode A in reasonable time. The binary runs are uh, awesome, that's right. Still has mistakes in them. Just as I have in uh, my just one runs, and I always think I can probably beat it, but then it turns out so hard, and it just too I can't even uh, play the game as good as as good as uh, a normal speedrunner. Yes, I remember uh, the the shield, your TNT for the shield, right? And you need it. <laughs> okay, now comes the climb. The climb is a pain. Taking damage is okay. Use toasters to kill the enemies here. Wow. Taking two damage is usually not okay, or you can play uh, safe to keep as many shields as possible to get around it. Ah! Run into the cactus for the iframes. Especially here, it's easy to take a hit here. You'll want to have the shield. Um, now I deviate from the task and then I take uh, the time to get this TNT and the shield. Because it's easy to uh, lose, uh, lose the run, otherwise you don't have a good shield here in this section. TNT, TNT. TNT, you have the TNT anyway. Now down and jump here and they'll line you up to go in here. Perfect. Now the task says this is the only launchers that you can easily pick up and that's right. I need them for the next stage. I can TNT here for, uh, for another shield. If the shield runs out, that's fine. Uh, I should have run out a little later, though. It's very dangerous now. There is this section here with the hands. And usually I'd love to have at least one shield here. It's possible without, but it's super, super dangerous. Uh, I made it with just one bad hit, that's okay. Uh, this initial section of Stonar, uh, that was so scary when I learned to run it first. Damage boost. Uh, okay, that hit is probably even good, not what I usually do. And win. You want to keep as much health in this stage as possible. There is one damage boost here. TNT for more missiles. And then try to jump out of this, it's possible, but it's very hard. The split key, yeah, it's the loudest key, I mashed so hard with it. <laughs> okay, these are the fast feet on hard, a rare sight. I love the fast feet on hard. Since we can't do the TNT skip, I'll nonetheless go in here to... Oh, uh, I didn't get the fast boost. To take the carrots, I went in there. Because I want to do uh, one or two boosts at the end of this map here. Now, this map has a clip in the fast feed section that I will probably not get on hard because I don't know how to do it on the hard mode of the hard fast feed. 
Uh, I'll see. If I get it, I'll use it. If not, I'll go around and take that awesome fast feed section in its full glory. Through, uh, I'll show it all. Like here. I could clip through. No, I don't. That's fine. I'll go a bit slower here uh, to keep some shield. I still have two TNT. Uh, one's to clear the bats, like the task would do. And the other one is uh, just for the end here. Because I like to kill the boss with TNT. If you kill the boss and jump at the same time, you will jump into the dying boss because the dying boss warps you under the pot. And you jump into the last dangerous frame of the boss and die. And therefore uh, it's it's safe to not jump on the frame where you kill the boss. Uh, or just use TNT, which is the safest method. And yeah, I got it, I got it, perfect. This is a very hard jump. Catch the uppermost springboard. You can soft lock the game here uh, if you move the spring into the wall. Excellent Keramikas 1, very, very good. I always run out of toasters so quickly. Now the run has to take TNT for uh, Deserto, otherwise Deserto is too hard. I'll take this TNT here. Oh. It's a good Keramika still. Excellent Keramic as well. Now these fire spitting devils, we want to avoid them if possible. Everything is fine, everything is fine. There is a damage boost I could do here. Um, I can't do it because I have no health. Therefore I'll do this. Otherwise I damage boost off the flame onto the platform. Ah, okay, you have to, have to keep your momentum on this spring. Um, here I go into this uh, secret here. It loses maybe a second or so from the initial jump, but it gets me so many RF missiles, it's worth it. And this is ideally the only damage that I take in the entire stage. Uh, it's very, very critical to keep a lot of health. Uh, the game doesn't give you carrots, and this is the last shield you get <laughs> uh, in this stage. Now, if you play this casually and hit the checkpoint, you're stuck in a place without shields and without parrots and without carrots and you're in for a lot of trouble if you play this on medium or hard or turbo therefore the hint for the casual player is do not take the checkpoint i let myself get hit here deliberately to uh, trade the bird for iframes and you have to get hit by a flame shot 
not from a regular weapon, uh, not from a regular enemy. Excellent stage. First stage had some problems, well that's fine. As usual, uh, in water stages you want to swim at the top and jump out of the water wherever you can because you're faster in the air. These octopus enemies uh, don't appear on easy. You're supposed to not see anything or skip a switch. Um, ideally, I don't raise the water level, but the game forces you to press some switches because you can't avoid them. And yes, uh, if you go deeper in the water, it gets darker, and it's part of the game that uh, of the design that sometimes you are immersed in total darkness. No way to turn on the light while well, lower the water level, that's the only way. And you can TNT. You can TNT for uh, light. But it's only a one shot operation. Now I hope I have a lot of toasters. Because the next stage has a bug where the weapons are shifted by one. And I select toasters to fire RF missiles here. Oh, that is weird. A la uh, boss survived with one hit point before I got hit. And that's uh, PB. Uh, episodes A to C without TNT skips on hard in 18 minutes and 28 seconds. This is good. Uh, I lost a bit of time in Stoner, but overall an excellent run. Deserto, the first map, again, a uh, couple problems, but I like it. <laughs> it's, it's a great run. And I do any percent too, where I would select uh, the uh, difficulties easy, medium, easy, or maybe even easy, easy, easy. I'm not perfectly sure what I would do. Or what I should do. But yeah, this is uh, the hard run where you don't TNT skip and it's a nice run. Yeah, thanks, thanks. 